2013 general election, again, this country with his deputy president uh, following the fighting that had occurred, so the Kalinjins, the Kikuyus. So we saw that happen, that in 2017, it can be argued that whilst he closed ranks on one hand, he opened a new battleground on the other with his deputy president. So from where you stand, has Uhuru Kenyatta failed to unite Kenyans? Uh, thank you, Sophina. Uh, Sophia, and I th hope you give me some time because you gave Muradi a lot of time. First and foremost, we have not gone against the party. The party has never met to take a stand on the handshake. The party has never met to take a stand on the BBI. So there is no party position. So everybody takes an individual position. So David Muradi cannot purport to discipline us for taking an individual position when the party has no position. You remember even uh, when uh, submissions for the BBI were being given, Jubilee did not take a position. So everybody is left to do his own things. Prior to the 2017 general elections, David Morade told the country that the second term, the second and final term of Uhuru Kenyatta will be benevolent dictatorship. That is what he said. And we have seen it has come to pass. In fact, it's not ben there is no benevolence. It is dictatorship. The party does not meet. The organs do not meet. The only organ that meets in Jubilee is the disciplinary committee that disciplines people. It's total dictatorship. And that is why there is revolt, there is rebellion. And uh, you cannot stifle people from expressing their views. It is not possible. Number two, David Murade keeps on threatening people with expulsion. Please, David Murade, we are tired of these threats. Go ahead and carry them out. And let me also tell you, a party is the membership. That party you say you are leading now is a shell. The only people who are in this party are ourselves because we don't want to buy elections, because we don't want to ex uh, expose our people to unnecessary electioneering during this very difficult time. The membership has moved out because of dictatorship. This is a party was a national party. It is a shame that a national party cannot get a candidate in Machakos, it cannot get a candidate in, in Batungu, it cannot get a candidate in Kabichai. You know, this is a party that had a candidate everywhere in the entire country. But because of dictatorship, we have lost a national party, and uh, we are going far. David Murade, I would like to tell you, saying that uh, Uru Kenyatta cannot have a button to somebody is misplaced. It is not President Uhuru Kenyatta who will decide whom to hand over the baton to. That will be decided by the people of Kenya in a democratic election. The way we decided to give him the presidency and Mwai Kibaki handed over to him. Mwai Kibaki did not hand over to Uhuru Kenyatta because he wanted to. No. A decision was made by the people of Kenya to elect President Uhuru Kenyatta to be president and Mwai Kibaki, according to the constitution, had to hand over to him. I would like to advise uh, my friend Sifuna to go and advise his boss to come to the central Kenya region and not to depend on the Morades and the commanders of this world. You can see what happened. They have been promising him that they will back him for presidency, they will bring him to the region. When he was coming to central Kenya through Gedurai and Keno, all the MPs who have been hanging around him switched off their phones. He was being welcomed by James Orengo from CIA in Gedurai. There was not a single leader from the area. Even David Murade, who has been saying that is a Raida moment, who comes from Moranga, was not available to take him to Keno and introduce him to the people and let him move around. Let Raida Odinga, like any other candidate, come to the people of central Kenya and sell his programs. We shall listen to him. He'll tell us what he has to offer to us. And we must also tell him that in, if he intends to come, this business of calling the hustlers takataka taka will not resonate well with the people because you cannot call people takataka taka and then you come to talk to them. And that is why there was a bit of discomfort in Gedurai because he has repeatedly been calling the hustler nation takataka. Taka. Let me finish by talking about the hustler nation. It is not true what Sivuna is saying about the rich and the poor. Dynasties are not rich people. Hustlers are not poor people. Hustlers are people who have struggled from nothing to something. The fact that you are born in a family that is not known, you start from a kiosk, you own a shop, you own a supermarket, you are a hustler, although you are rich. Rich people are not dynasties. Dynasties are big families that have a history, and they get power or they get money simply because of where they were born and brought up. That is what you call a dynasty. But we have a lot of rich people who are hustlers, 
who have struggled from nothing. This idea of trying to corrupt the Hasla nation, to make it like it's a battle between the rich and the poor, is wrong. It is because these people have realized, as we are waiting to be endorsed, William Ruto moved with the Hasra narrative and now is a movement that you cannot play around with. It's a, it's a narrative that is resonating with a lot of Kenyans. And all we are saying is, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you are born, you must be given an opportunity, if you are ha working hard and praying to God, to sit on the table with those other people who have come from other big families, and you'll be given an opportunity like everybody else. That and is what the Hustler Nation is all about. I want and to I would like to, as I wind up, I would like to, I would like to remind my friend uh, David Murale, please stop threatening leaders. You are not elected by anybody yourself. You are there as an appointee who has no money from anybody. You keep on threatening people who have gone through an election. These are leaders who campaigned and they won. And they did a lot of hard work. You are just given a position on an interim basis. But you have become such a threat to everybody. You are intimidating everybody. You have no respect for elected leaders. And that is why there is a lot of disquiet in the region. In fact, David Murade, when the history of Uhuru Kenyatta is written, and how he lost his popularity in the Mount Kenya region, you will have a chapter. It is that prevado. It is those threats you have every day. It is the way you are threatening people and intimidating them. And I'm challenging you, please, don't threaten anymore. Go ahead, expel people from Jubilee. Go ahead, instigate state agencies to be able to harass and persecute elect leaders.